The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Corporation. When my girl got the hey, news. welcome to Sin City Bounty. It's Tuesday. Woo! Tuesday. And man, we got so much stuff we want to talk about. I'm not sure where we're going to, where, gonna fit it where it's going to go, if we're going to fit it all in. It's not going to happen. Uh, but I know we wanted to open with happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day to America and all of you who got to celebrate today. We love our international uh, uh, listeners uh, and watchers, but... Um, Hey, we're America. America. We're Americans. <laughs> America. America. I love when everybody oh. um, posts stuff and they're like, because America. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my really close friends, she posted, it's America. What is up with the America, America stuff? America. And uh, so this weekend, I went on this whole America is awesome meme rush, right? I just all posted. All weekend. All weekend, <laughs> starting yeah. Friday. So it was like every hour and a half, there was right. a meme about how great America was. Right. And she didn't know what the hell was up with America. And there were these memes that I had that were more America than they were America. So I got to just like deluge that post with all of these uh Big giant rifles and uh, I'm gonna supersize my America, please. <laughs> uh, it was awesome. So she got to learn the difference between America and America. <laughs> um, lots of static low mics, very low mics. Okay. Uh, uh, do we need to turn that up? Nope. No, because see, we're already pinging in the red. It's oh, I see. So we need to get a little closer. Yeah. Just get a little closer. Uh, get treat a little it like closer, a baby. Penis. <laughs> Ew. Ew. So it's, but if you put your mouth there, imagine how many other like <coughs> hosts I know, I just got a taste of there. somebody's lip gloss. So, <laughs> well, so most likely oh, it, it was mine. He Lysol's it. Yeah, so wow. uh, Johnny Fever takes care of us. So one of the thing, the one, the main thing that I did for Fourth of July yesterday was I spent it with my mom because you know America is all about family. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people spent it with their family. And we were watching um, some old cowboy movie. or so, it, was a ho it was horrible. It was a horrible movie. Um, but she, my mom mentioned that she would have loved to have gone back to the old days. And I said to her, you know, as soon as they would have seen you, my mom is a small Asian woman, they would have either thrown you to the railroad so you could yeah. work on the chain gang, put you in a brothel, or you'd be in an opium den somewhere. Or a laundry house. She could be a laundress. Oh, laundry, laundry. So, yes, I didn't even think of the laundry thing, right? Your mom would most likely be the, either the madam at the whorehouse, the head of the opium den, or we, lead laundress. We did figure that out, that she would probably, with her personality and the way that she is, um, she would either be dead, <laughs> because they wouldn't put up with her shit. The men of that time would not put up with her crap. Or she would be the head of one of these places. And uh, so that was that was hilariously funny. But that was our America. Could, with um, her viewpoints on how you should take care of your man, she'd be the leader of the madam. She'd be the madam at the whorehouse. That's what we figured, yeah. And and, and everyone would love her. Cause she'd be like, you do what white men say! <laughs> you suck his cock good! <laughs> Petra, sex expert. <laughs> Can we try switching the microphone on the audio and see if that's um, it? Callie Guy said it's like we're only hearing through a webcam mic or a mic in another room. Uh, no, you should be hearing. Did us. that change? Do you it? want me to turn oh. that up? No, you said that's already peaking, right? Yeah, we're already peaking. I mean, we can try. Hold on. I have to turn this down so it's really low right now. A alphabet soup A B C D E F G rook up 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 up. You're gonna have to go up. There you go. There you go. That's good. All right, everybody. How does that sound? It was better for one second. Try try the other one. This is the webcam. That's the audio from there. that's not it. Yeah. That's not the one we want. We're having difficulties with our uStream sound, so just hold on. If you are. 
Kelly catching this on video, just so you know, we stream live every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Pacific time. We are live right now. You can go to www.sincitybounty.com, scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see our live faces there. Hi. And uh, you can join us in chat. And uh, we love our people in chat. They always add to the conversation, and we'd love to have you there, too. Please don't ask for boob shots. Uh, we don't do that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> We've never done boob shots, but we have done bra shots. We have. And I think you did that a couple days ago, or a couple shows ago. I did. Yeah, bra. What's a bra shot? Is that where you drink tequila out of the bra? No, it's where we just show off our bras. Although, I can't show you my bra without showing you my panties in my dress today, so that's right, not right. So you spent your weekend with family. I did. Uh, Cousins, in fact. Cousins. <laughs> Uh, very my, America? My, was it very America? It was very America. <laughs> uh, what my, my mother lovingly refers to them as the outlaws. Uh, because my mom was adopted, and this is her birth family. And I shit you not, like the first time we met them, they were like, all right, it's time for, you know, beer, coffee, and a cigarette. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, we're related. Like, <laughs> uh, there was no question about it. My aunts and I, when we get together, we discuss the books that we've read, and we swap book ideas because we're all very avid readers. They've got book collections like I have a book collection and it's pretty hilarious we the three of us could live together and open our own library and not have duplicates <laughs> um, and then all of my cousins that are around my same age and they have kids who are around my kids my son's age so we drove down there because uh, they live in uh, Phoenix and we're in Las Vegas it's only like five hour drive I had a three-day weekend so we drove down there your weekend was packed my I weekend was packed because like you I get notifications when you post right so I had like tons of notifications and pictures were everyone and yeah. it looked like a lot of fun it was a lot of fun my son and I love going on road trips together we don't mind going with other people, but we really like going on them together because we get silly in the car and we listen to our podcasts because I've turned him into a podcast nerd like I am. He's like, Mom, what's on Radio Lab?" And I'm like, I don't know. Let's find out, you know, because we're <laughs> nerds. And um, we just we have a good time. I introduced him to a new book that he read for the entire last five hours that we were driving. And every time I tried to talk to him, he's like, Mom, can I just read? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, you can. I love that. I love yeah. that. And uh, we stayed at this fancy schmancy resort, um, and I realize now why we got it so cheap. Hmm, my review's not going to be so great about the fancy schmancy resort. The room was cool. The amenities were great. If the amenities had actually been there. Did they even know you had a radio show? We should, like, no. make sure we have calling <laughs> cards, because we are going to talk so hard about all the places we go. It was <laughs> the check-in process. I'm from Las Vegas, okay? I'm from Las Vegas. I get that I have a biased opinion on hotel check-ins because every hotel I know, you walk up, you hand them the card that you reserved it under and your ID, and in 15 minutes or less, it's better than fucking dominoes, you walk away with your room key or with a free fucking buffet because, hey, sorry, your room's not ready, why don't you go have a buffet? Oh, and here's $10 of slot play on us. Uh, we'll, we'll call you when your room is ready. But usually they have a room ready for you right away. They don't fuck around with this bullshit about you know checkouts at 11 and a room's not ready till 4 that's bullshit y'all ain't got enough people on staff if that's your turnover and anyway it was 45 minutes I stood at the front counter before they even told me we don't have a room ready for you wow. well wait what time crazy. were you there I got there at 11 30 in the morning okay um and uh they said well we won't have a room ready for at least another hour it'll be around 12 30 I said okay well we haven't had lunch yet so me, my aunts, all the little cousins that we had with us, we went out for lunch. We had to go somewhere else because on the 4th of July weekend, they were renovating their restaurant. Was this, mention Wait, the name. Oh, give us really quick, just so I, to clarify, and then you can give the name if you want. Was your complaint that the room wasn't ready before check-in time, before the official hotel check-in time? There is no official check-in time. Every hotel has a check-in time. They don't have an official check-in time. Their thing was, we're not supposed... They were like, you can check in at any time, um, and we'll let you know when your room is ready. And I'm like, okay. Not, not even on the back of the door where they're supposed to legally have it? They're no. supposed to legally they have, have yeah, they're supposed the, to legally a check-in time? The, um, the they're, rack they're, rate they're, on the back of the door. Is this for all hotels? Yes, yeah, this Vegas? is for all hotels. Well, so Cal California, I worked in hotels as well as Alabama. Yes, and Arizona, there's not a whole lot of laws down there. Um, that's, that's true. The one thing that they had posted was that um, 
your room will be ready no later than 4 p.m. But they clearly said you could check in at any time. But they wouldn't, they just wouldn't check you in. They just guarantee a room. Yeah, that's a first. I mean, they normally on the back of the door, they have the check-in, check-out time. Well, I couldn't get to the back was of this, the door was until this I like, when you got in the room. Right. Was this like a tiny town or something like no, that? No, it's a it's huge just like, town. It's is Phoenix, it a huge Arizona. Resort? Oh, it's Phoenix. It's a village resort. It's That's a odd. diamond resort. Diamond village something or other. Scottsdale Village Mirage. That's where I stayed. Anyway, I understand they were undergoing a lot of renovations. And something came up. Their bar was closed. Their restaurant was closed. Um, but they did offer us free Wi-Fi for our inconvenience. And I'm like, inconvenience? I'm really glad I didn't pay the full rate for this room. So if I pay the full rate for this room under the because their their website mentions nowhere that their restaurant is closed and that their bar is closed, their website lists all of the amenities that are available to you and that uh, Wi-Fi is going to be extra. Blah blah blah. I was like, that's okay. But then I get there and none of the amenities, with the exception of the pool, were available. I, well, we couldn't even get I, room service. I'm going to assume that you've learned from this experience and from now on, whenever you book a hotel room, you will call first. I will. <laughs> yeah, before I book, I'll call and be like, is the restaurant open? Is the bar open? Because if you're going to advertise this awesome swim up bar at the pool and then not have the fucking pool open, I'm going to be a little pissed off. <laughs> Especially when you but, post signs all over the pool that says no outside alcohol. But, but you enforce it when your bar's not open. But your weekend otherwise was great. Yeah, other than that, it was You great. didn't spend a lot of time in that hotel, did you? No, we spent half a day and a night. And uh, we've spent most of that time in the pool or out at, like, they had, like, a horseshoe pit with, like, shuffleboard and mini golf and stuff. And so the kids played there. And the rest of us sat around and drank and talked. It was good. It was good. It was relaxing. It looked great. It was great. The hotel room itself. You didn't complain amazing. online. No. Which is something we're going to talk about a little bit later, but. <laughs> it was a great weekend. Aside from the fact that it was not as advertised. Uh. Everything else was great. The room itself was good. The bed was kind of hard. Not How was the fa family was amazing. My cousins are really low key. They have some drama within themselves, but unlike some groups of sisters I know, they don't spew that drama all over everyone else. They contain it. And they're like, that's our drama. We're just going to put it away for the weekend. Very cool. Yeah, they're really cool people. I love them all. Let's talk about Kelly's weekend. Uh, Toxie's weekend. Our friend Kelly has um she had a pool and she had a big party over there actually yeah let's talk about toxie's weekend <laughs> what'd you do toxie you're not in oh picture. someone said i'm sorry i know i well that's my yeah. give it to me cup my cup was holding it <laughs> <laughs> that was an awesome freeze frame before it switched over it was pretty good. all right talk about your Isn't weekend, that toxie. Weird now? <laughs> was it too close here yeah moment. It's way too close. Let me have it. It's too close. Way too close. You just had it all up in my face. I know, but all right, I didn't have it all go. up in my own. No, that's much better, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I had a pretty good weekend. <laughs> I can see her vagina. <laughs> you can see my underwear. <laughs> her, sh her skirt is pretty short. It's very I know, cute, but though. When she lifted her leg. <laughs> all right, it is your underwear. I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> Except she was naked when I thought it was underwear. Because right. her well, ass and coochie were so white, I thought it was underwear. Okay, I'm pretty white. That would be her. So, <laughs> I had a pretty awesome weekend as well. Um, I uh, made dinner for someone at my house, and they did not die. A someone, someone? A someone? Like a round chicken. Someone? <laughs> like someone I'm dating. Oh. Um, and they didn't die. So that was huge. That is huge considering <laughs> is huge. if you know anything about her culinary skills. Right. Or the lack thereof. What, what, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. What did you make? Was it like pizza rolls? No. Totino? No. <laughs> DiGiorno? I, I did have uh, Domino's as a backup. <laughs> which is by my house. I'm like, it's very close. If this goes south. I'll no, bet you, wait, wait, I'll bet you it was some sort, some form of pasta. Of course. Yeah. Like, that's the easiest the thing easiest to not fuck Easiest thing in the world. Up. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's not true. But I know I'm, people who can burn pasta while they're boiling it. I have to the pan. <laughs> <laughs> and I've made it gooey out. before. I've made it, I've you overcooked, overcooked it, it. So it was like mush. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you can mess it up. 
But I use. But you the, did not. I did not. No, I make this sauce that I find delicious, but it's like very chunky, and it's all. It's not from, you know, a, a jar, and. Um, I'm impressed. It even use. I even use fresh garlic. Wow. Right? With, my, with my garlic press, it, it was. Pampered chef. Of course. How, <laughs> how long did it take you to make this meal? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe an hour because oh, I let it shabby. cook. No, I let it cook for you know a while on there. I even had cheese and crackers. Did that include prep time, like all the cutting of the vegetables and no, all? No, I do that as I make it. So okay. I start the the tomatoes. Um, you don't have to give us a recipe. We're not that kind of show. No, no, no. But I start <laughs> that and then I chop everything and throw it in. So. I wasn't giving a recipe. It's the one thing I. I I want to get to where you got laid. The part. Oh, so I did. <laughs> she, she was channeling Mike Leonetti. Right. Yeah. Oh God. By the way, Callie guy's making pasta for dinner right now, and um, Buzz Lightyear did not die yet. So. <laughs> did he take home leftovers? No. You no. don't send him home with leftovers? No. Why? I'm going to fucking eat them myself. <laughs> Plus, she's got a kid. Wow. Well, right. I make enough for leftovers for my house and enough for my man, and then that way I know I fed him twice. Oh, sorry. He owes me a vagina licking. <laughs> There's a video he should watch. It's posted on the Sin City Bounty I page. See that video. I, I almost posted it, but I had to go back and make sure none of you guys posted it because when I saw it, I was like, this is fucking perfect. And then it turns out we posted it already. Great video. You yeah. got that from a good friend of ours, Jessica. Mm -hmm. So you got laid? I Can did, but I'll tell you a funny story. First off, it was the um, it was a clown. Huh? It was a clown. <laughs> what? I, is what it did the? I say? I'll <laughs> tell you a funny story. Is is the no. funniest part that this is the first time you've had? No, a No, that's not the funny okay. part. Um, but it is as as you know, most people who listen regularly know. I'm, you know, uh not married <laughs> anymore. anymore and it's been like over a year and um i just during that time i i mean i haven't exactly been you know a nun but i haven't um brought anyone home to my house or into my bedroom <laughs> one of the things that i think is really cool about um you getting divorced i didn't think i had to be that close anymore hmm. um the last time we met a lady who was just getting divorced, she went fucking buck wild. She and that's, that's Calypso when we first started the show. <laughs> and our stories and the reason we started the show came from that buck wild area because we were like caught in the cyclone. And it was awesome. Let's, let's not downplay the fact that we were fucking just as much as she was and often the same guys at the same time. That's right. But you did not go fucking crazy. I did not. Right. No, no. So, um... Although she can be fucking crazy. <laughs> and maybe she's fucking crazy now. We don't know how Buzz Lightyear is in bed. For realses. For realses? She doesn't have a chandelier, <laughs> so we couldn't really put that to the test. We should go install one. Or a mm. swing. Just a camera up in the corner. Well, no, here's oh, what yeah, I'll, yeah. like, here's where the story ties in. Okay. So, um, so, you know, things so were kind of happening. <laughs> and all of a sudden, um, my bed started, like, squeaking really bad. However, it sounded like somebody talking. <laughs> Was it just the two of you at the house? Yeah. Okay. So you, you were a little of course. freaked out? <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, where's, where's, like, where's that? coming from it was a little you know it throws you off a little because and it's one like, thing oh, if you did it's you just start laughing in the middle of having yes. sex you both did yes okay, that's good yeah that's but he good kept song. it hard and you stayed wet and it continued on yeah yeah it, it kept going but so i mean it was very um it it genuinely sounded like somebody was in the room <laughs> <laughs> talking so you could talking. actually technically say you had a threesome well i bed. had before maybe a four or five some. <laughs> Depending on how many different but, sounds are coming you know. speaking. We've had a two and a half some. That's true. We have had a two and a half some. Two and a half some. I'm, I'm impressed. Keep going. I've that, that's <laughs> like all I... That's You made the bed squeak. <laughs> yeah, but it squeaked to where it sounded like someone was talking. So it was ventriloquist bed. Yes. You were throwing your sex. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, by the way. I love that. 
Right. So my bat is like haunted. <laughs> so that was your. Did you yell freedom at the end? No. <laughs> freedom. freedom! <laughs> no. <laughs> Was there some sort of official christening? Like, did he smack his dick against the side of the bed or anything like that? Little spooge on the headboard. Wait, wait, wait. Was no. it? Did you? Did you guys get to do it Monday night when the fireworks were going off? So it was punctuated by the sounds of firecrackers going off. Wow! No. Oh, yeah, you know you like it. <laughs> Kaboom! Just like that. <laughs> Was it the sex or the fireworks? <laughs> no, Monday night I was actually um, at my friend's house, and uh, we were in her pool, and there were fireworks going off all around while we were in the pool, and it was amazing. And I kept, I love fireworks, and I love the 4th of July, and it's my absolute favorite holiday, so I kept screaming like I was a little kid. <laughs> and um, <laughs> one of the one of the ladies who was there she's like wow you really find a lot of joy in this and i'm like yeah <laughs> oh my god i'd be like so me at halloween la muerte says he likes crazy and fernie williams says hi hi, hi fernie. fernie and um buzz lightyear said damn where were those ideas a few days ago so <laughs> just have to remember for next time that's all <laughs> you can so. always call us first I yeah, I'll give you ideas. That's true. Wait, what have you got? Oh, sorry. Please stop that. Johnny Fever mm -hmm. says, stop banging. Stop banging on the table, man. On the right. table. All on right. the table. You can bang on the table. You can bang on the floor, but not on the table. All right. You can <laughs> bang on the bed. You can bang on the chair. You cannot bang on the table. That's right. Did you bang on the table? Is that I why you're giving me that I did not bang on the table, no. Because I totally Are you won. kidding? Like, I be pretty bummed if I broke the table. <laughs> no, I meant your table. You got a That's pretty sturdy table. Yeah, but I still don't want to, I don't want to break it. It's a nice table. Hey, oh, I got both of you in the shop now. It's got a bench. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she, my friend has a sex Do bench. we want to talk about, she loves um, wasn't there something about something shaming, some shaming going on? Did you want to talk about that? Toys or something? Oh, you were toy shamed. You were dildo shamed. Oh, <laughs> yes. I totally forgot. So my dear friend Eve. Big who, cutie. Big cutie Eve, who may or may not be watching. I bet she is, though. Um, we belong to this Amazon group, and, you know, stuff comes up, and you put down that you're interested, and, and you get it either free or super cheap. They send it to you, and then you write a review. So one day it was, you know, a whole bunch of uh, sex stuff, but the very first thing that came up was a dildo. And so, of course, I'm like, hey, why not? So I, you know, I put myself down, hey, interested. I didn't get it, by the way, but I put down that I was interested. And the next thing I know, <laughs> I get a text, and it was Big Kitty Eve, and she, um, she dildo shamed me. <laughs> and she was like, you dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> Can we <laughs> stop dildo shaming each other, women? Let's, Let's just enjoy our dildos in the privacy of our own homes. Now, why were you dildo shamed? I, I, um, was, was it like super huge or was it a little tiny no, thing? It was actually, it was marketed as a, like an average dildo. Um, but I, I don't know. Ultimately, uh, she may or may not have had a similar one. <laughs> She did. So ultimately, you know, she was just busting on me. But um, yeah, I, it took me a while to realize too. I she's can like, see if you would have bought one that very, was like 14 dirty. inches long or something, right? Or, or if it was like, like a big double-headed, you know, dildo. But right. It was. It's just funny because what happens is, is if one of us puts down for something, you can often see it. Mm -hmm. Like it'll come up. So that's why the one day when I followed Sierra and just tried to get everything she did. It's because it comes up on my thing and, and shows me what they're interested in. So that's all. But I got dildo shamed. Cock ring. <laughs> I still have one. I still have mine too. Did you use yours? I didn't. I have to remember that. Yeah. I wrote a fake review. Cock ring. Let's get into some review. news. It's like 25 after. Okay. Uh, let's, 20, uh, let's, do let's do the Ohio story first. The Ohio, oh, the Ohio bakery. bakery. Now, you already ha you have, um, which I kind of agree with, you have a um, belief, a stance. a stance, right, that if, uh, if a 
business does not want to cater to someone they shouldn't have to no matter what yeah if you don't want to serve or blacks or whatever gays straights transies whatever you do or do not want to serve to fuck it that's your right you, we have a right to refuse service to anyone as business owners if we don't want if if we don't want that shady looking latino kid with the hood hat on no, this is not me talking this is just me per, 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 whatever the word um if you don't want to do that that's fine you totally don't have to serve that person they also have the right to tell all their friends what a huge doucheberry you are post it on facebook and post Twitter it all over Instagram. facebook write a terrible review about you and then let the free market do as it will and in most cases the free market wins and your douche baggy ass goes out of business because people don't like doing business with assholes if i wanted to do business with an asshole i'm going to say something very offensive right now i would be gay dude Offensive. Aren't you like part gay? I'm half gay, but I'm <laughs> but I'm not butthole gay. I'm vagina gay. <laughs> is that different? Is that a di is there a difference? Um, yes, I'm vagina gay, not butthole gay. Like I don't put things in people's buttholes. I put them in their vagina. Not all gay people put things in buttholes. They do if they're gay boys. Not always. I don't. Not I wouldn't always. Think. Well, that's true. There's tops who don't. There's tops who don't. That's true. No, no, no. The very definition of a top is that you put your oh, dick well, in I'm sorry. a butthole. So there's bottoms who don't put there's in, they receive. There's bottoms who don't. They receive. So, That's so I, I agree with part of that, with part of your stance. Um, I, I fully agree that a free market can take care of a lot of stuff. But I, I draw the line. I mean, it's really hard when it's... Um, I don't... No. No, I, I guess I don't agree with you. <laughs> I yeah, think if I'm you sorry. are open for public business mm -hmm. and you want the public to come to your business you need to serve who comes to your business i i, I think I you think, should i i think i think if if they're rude or if they're belligerent or if they give you death threats then that's a whole nother thing i i don't think i think and as far as the government has a right to say what we can peddle for business like obviously we can't peddle children or illegal substances or anything like that like i'm okay with that i'm okay with the government saying please don't do this like that's against the law but i don't think the government should have a right in telling me who i do and do not do business with because but ultimately you, ultimately it's my decision to either open my doors to the public or go private like i could just work out of my home and only sell to a select group of people that's but where right. do you draw the line where where right. does where is that line so you're saying Okay, you don't have to cater to people who are gay, but what if somebody comes up in a wheelchair? Do you yeah, have to? Yeah, there no. is actually there there is a federal law that says you have to be able to comply with people who are disabled coming into your business. You just have to be able to allow them. They just have to be able to gain Access. entry to your business. You don't have to actually provide business to them. So once they walk in, you could say, because you're in a wheelchair, I'm not going to sell you this candle. That's right. And how long do you think that, that candle company is going to stay in business? Not for very fucking long, because that's the way the free market works. People who don't sell to everyone don't win. So this conversation came about because of a story in Ohio about a bakery. Um, and the reason that it got a lot of play is because the bakery um, actually said to their client on Facebook, through Facebook Messenger, I think it was, yes. that they were not going to sell them their cake because they went to their Facebook page and saw that they were gay. So they went, so they went to a customer's personal page and looked, and it wasn't even a wedding cake. It was for a birthday, a birthday party. Cake. Yeah, it was a birthday cake. So they went on, saw that they were gay, and said, I'm I not going to I think the article said you. that she assumed that they were gay because of all of the lesbian content on there. Now, there's a lot of lesbian And the Orlando content. Post, yes. Right, in the Orlando Post. There's a lot of lesbian content on my page, like a lot. I'm not a lesbian. I'm fully bisexual, open and honest about that. Um, out to my parents even so there you go um but i'm not a lesbian but you might assume that i'm a lesbian by coming to my page so she made some assumptions and we all know what happens when you assume and um uh, da, 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 da. is this the right one 
No, this is a different one. So the Ohio, so I went looking about, I went looking for um, if there was a law. Because, you know, in North Carolina, there's a law that uh, because of your religious beliefs, you don't have to sell to people you religiously don't agree with. Mm -hmm. uh, same with uh, uh, a couple of other states here in the country. Um, Ohio is not one of them. Ohio is not one of them. So I believe federally, even though being gay is kind of on the cusp um, because there's no actual protective law there, right. there are in some states, like in New York, there's a law that you cannot discriminate against someone for being LGBT. Right. Um, Ohio is not one of those states. Right. Well, but even, but even this, so this one is from Oregon. And Oregon's this like super fucking one. liberal. Mm -hmm. So this is the previous one. There was an Oregon and ba a bakery in Oregon. Um, Melissa and Aaron Klein, owners of the Sweet Cakes. Hey, it's trying to reconnect. There it is. Uh, Melissa and Aaron Klein, owning of Sweet Cakes by Melissa, cited religious beliefs when they refused to bake a wedding cake for Laurel and Rachel Bowman Cryer more than two years ago. Oregon decided uh, that there were damages to be awarded by Labor Commissioner Brad Avakian for emotional suffering, saying the owners had violated the woman's civil rights by discriminating on the basis of their sexual orientation. They were also slapped with a gag order that prohibited them from speaking publicly about their refusal to participate in or bake wedding cakes for same-sex marriages. Mm. So this one went much further. This one actually went to the point where their business had to be, I, I believe it's open again now, their business had to be shut down. Um, Are we so talking about the Oregon one? This yeah. is okay. the Oregon one. The, there was uh, a group of, um, you know, a Christian rights group that started a GoFundMe, and GoFundMe took it down. So they started another um, crowdfunding through a different site, and they raised, they went on there, and they raised, um, gosh. 500,000, you yeah, said. Yeah, it was something like half a million. For legal fees. For legal fees and to help them get their business back but up and still, running. They reportedly said the payment would lead to financial ruin even though they'd raised five hundred thousand dollars. Now I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping that the market will take care of it. Yeah, and the, and the market will. The market proves over and over again. These people are still closed, by the way. Oregon's kinda liberal, right? It's a, right up there with on Washington. A for them. This was this is go back. 2015. Is, yeah. So I was on their website earlier today. Are they still are they still open? Okay. So if I don't know if it I don't know if anything like that has happened in Nevada. Not against gay people. No. But if if you are ever if you ever go to a bakery or anything like that, uh, I think your first stop after you've been refused service because you're gay should be Yelp. Uh Yelp. Facebook but review, go to the Google ACLU. They, if you go to the ACLU website dot org, ACLU dot org, you can find a map of uh, what states has what laws concerning LGBTQ uh, uh, rights and legislation. Who's got bills that are get, getting ready to be voted on? Which bills were uh, voted down? Um, I remember seeing one, the governor overturned one. Um, so you can go and find out exactly where your state stands. And if anything like that happens to you, that's, that's the first place you go after Yelp to your Facebook. Um, there's a story we're going to talk about. It's only been on Facebook for a day, but we heard about it and we want to talk about it. So <laughs> Alexia, yeah, about Kelly, it. Kelly guy said, um, and really quick before I get to that, just so I, I missed it. Um, Vendetta said, I think we should stop all sex toy shaming. I bought my, bought my brother a flashlight for his 21st birthday. He was so embarrassed. I tried to tell him it's so stupid to be embarrassed. He now uses it proudly. And then he broke his own um, flashlight. And stole his he brother's used, back? Um, but <laughs> Kelly Guy said, thou shalt not come into my own toy. So Alexia, if you sold ads on the show, would you be okay with a law that forced you to accept an ad from the KKK? Nazi Party and Westboro Baptist Church. There, there is no such law, is there? That, that's what. That, yeah. That was his question. That, was that's what. Law, if there was a law. These states that say that the okay, so like the the states that are fining this bakery, Oregon says you can't discriminate discriminate 
you can't it's this fucking ring you cannot discriminate against anyone no matter what period end of score you have to do business with people even if you are well, fundamentally against it when it be protected i mean we were using specific examples of protected classes so and i know that that lgbt you can't discriminate against someone is. for their religious beliefs the kkk is a religious organization and if they wanted to advertise on our website and the state of nevada has a law that says we can't discriminate against them we have to let them advertise but we are not um it's not like we're on wwdb uh, is not uh uh public place now he might have to accept that advertising because of that law but we don't have to because we are a private radio show that bakery is a privately owned bakery there's no but difference it's a different between class of business though it, it, a public or private there is i'll no tell you this is what i would do i would say fuck all advertising if i were forced uh to advertise for the kkk because i'm right those guys in oregon those guys in ohio they're fucking wrong I don't think anyone should tell us who we can and cannot have do business with. Uh, I would never do business with the KKK. And they'll never come on this show and they'll never listen to this fucking show because we won't do business with the KKK. I will never go to this nail salon we're about to talk about because apparently they are completely and totally proprieted by fucking bullshit douchebags. Uh, I will never do business with that bakery in Oregon. I will never do business with any business ever. End of story, period. For instance, fucking Chick-fil-A. I've yep. never eaten there. I will never eat there. Nope. I don't give a fuck who owns it. They've come out publicly and said that uh, they don't think gay people should have the right um, to marry. But they, just so you know, just to kind of share, they have evolved. And they've stopped contributing to the um, anti-gay groups that they were contributing to. So I do believe that people can evolve. Sure. Do you know why they evolved? their opinion. Yeah, do you know why? Because no, people stopped were fucking getting, eating no, there. They were getting more publicity um, based on it because, the again, the extreme Christian rights groups were loading their stores, <clears throat> loading lines, like ridiculous lines, but that's to kind still, of prove a point. But that, that's anyway, still less than half the percent of the population of the United States of America. Right, but they've evolved and they've changed their policies. Just like, for example, Target, they're very liberal in their policies and they've continued to evolve as such so and i'm and a business that chooses to do so i mean i i right and them kudos they for that. have the right to to evolve i think they will evolve i think the more they find out that the only color they should care about is the color of the money coming across their fucking counter the more companies will evolve the less these religious right-wing nut jobs Libertarian saying religious right wing nut jobs um, will do will fail to do business. Let me tell you, example, there are a shit ton of Muslim owned stores in this city, and I p visit a number of them. Do I put on a hijab and go hijab and go in there? Do I cover my face? Do I put on anything? Do I dress more conservatively when I go in there? Do I try not to say the word fuck? when I see that the price is above what I want to pay for it? <laughs> no, I go in exactly as I am with maybe some of my pagan regalia throwing on, totally tits hanging out, hair all uncovered, face going on, fat arms are flapping, <laughs> fuck just a falling out of my face. And do you think any one of them looks at me and goes, I don't like what you do and say, you get out of my store. No, you know what those fuckers do? They invite me in and say, please buy everything I have. That's right. They spend, don't give a fuck that I don't have Spend your American money. They don't give a fuck that I don't have the same religious viewpoint as they do. They don't give a fuck about it. And you know what? They get my business. That's just how it works. They wouldn't refuse, and I know they wouldn't refuse gay people because I have been in those religiously owned Muslim stores and there's numerous flaming homosexuals in there going, I think I'm going to make myself some Indian curry tonight. What do you think? Which dude in there just debating over which non bread they're going to purchase. And do you think they give a fuck? They do not, because the color of green is the color of freedom. <laughs> Vendetta freedom! Said, yeah. Vendetta said, I don't know about ads, but I'd have no problem with interviewing anyone from any of those organizations. I would interview them. I would interview I them wouldn't too. mind having them. We had a Trump supporter on the show. We did. I don't mind having those. I don't mind talking to them, but if I have to do business with them, I, I would rather not. But th there are limits. Like... I don't, uh, well, I don't even know what those limits are because I agree with a lot of people. So 
but uh, the KKK, I don't. So I don't want to do any business with them. And you should have the right to not do business with them. You should have the right to not do business with anyone you don't but, it, it, but, with. But if a guy came in, if I had a uh, convenience store, which I used to manage, if I had a convenience store and a guy came in and he had a swastika tattooed on his arm, I would not refuse him his super big gulp. Uh, Kelly Guy said, my point was that there are lots of people who are very willing to have the power of the law used against those they disagree with, but somehow do not think the same legal principle should be applied against them. So I think you should have the right to refuse service to anyone. Um, and I also believe that if you exercise that right to refuse service to anyone, you will ultimately close your business doors because you cannot not sell to the majority of people. And I hate to tell you this, but the LGBT community is not a minority. Nope, not anymore. They stopped be a, being a minority 15 years ago. Especially when all the straight people said, what, we can join this group too? Yeah. <laughs> you mean I can be queer and fuck whatever I want? No, I didn't mean that, but um, I am as straight as they come. I'm not even part gay. Yeah. Half gay or anything. Uh, and I support LGBTQ rights all You're the time. You're an ally. Yeah, I am an ally. ally, yes. And and that increases the, the population of people who will not work with companies that won't work with their friends. I, I, I Yeah, I, and I rarely tolerate it anymore on Facebook when I see friends of mine post mm -hmm. stupid ass stuff. I will say something and, and I am usually in disbelief that they would post something like that. Right. Uh, case in point, as of July 1, transgenders can now serve freely in the U.S. military. They've always been in the U.S. military. It was They were still under that don't ask, don't tell thing. Mm -hmm. But now... Um, you can let your freak flag fly, now baby. Now they've evolved. See, we continue See? to evolve True. And as do you know how humans. That, that evolution happens because the majority of people said, this is wrong and you shouldn't do it. You talk to... And things evolve. Um, if, a lot of people talk about how horrible the millennials, is that what they're called, the kids yeah, today? The millennials. the millennials are today, but those are some of the most open and forgiving people I have ever met in my life. They're also some of the most self-centered bastards I've ever met too, so. Mm. And yeah. Uh, but there are plenty of people our age who are just as if not more self-centered. Right. And the people who are the and, the, and the people who are um, older tend to be super set in their ways where at least right. the millennials are um, open to listening and adapting. He is. Oh, I'm just, he's a millennial, last millennial. That's, that's <laughs> one of my pet peeves is when people start talking about how horrible kids are today. Right. And I'm like, uh, you don't even know my nephew and my niece. They're amazing people. That's Your true. son is an amazing guy. He's pretty Your amazing, daughter yeah. is an amazing girl. And those are the kids that I know and the other kids that I know are just as amazing. Other people's friends and their kids are just as amazing. But it's, it's not. You unfortunately have a biased sample point though because you surround yourself with people who aren't going to raise anything other than amazing kids. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Um, <laughs> that's kind of it. Philosophically. Phil Philosophically? <laughs> this fucking ring. <laughs> Give it Philosophically, to me. Philosophically, yes, that's what you're supposed to do. In practice though there are far more asshole children being raised by asshole parents in this world okay yeah, so we're gonna get to this call we have yes. to do this okay so this last uh this one story that we want to talk about is um there uh so yesterday posted on a private facebook page but made public was a post about a young lady who went to a salon oh, this is a review on a public page yes uh, well, she did post it on her own page first. Or anyway, she did screenshots. Mm -hmm. This girl went to go get some services done with her friend and her friend's husband at a local Las Vegas nail salon called Nailed and Lashed, which is somewhere over by the 215 curve. Nailed and Lashed LV. They're on Apache and Sunset. And um, they did not like their service, so they put a review. I believe it was up on Facebook, correct? Yes. And they left one star, which is one of the things that you have to deal with if you are a business on Facebook. Because, let's face it, sometimes your service is going to suck. Right. So this woman, uh, the owners of this business, uh, Chris, uh, who is the mom, and Andrew, who is the son, I don't know which ones did the posting, 
but started uh, bad mouthing, shaming, and uh, a spew of vulgarities at these uh, people who left the review right. for giving them a one star. And so, then, so then they, I mean, it just went on and on. They started taking screenshots from this woman's. Um, Facebook page and posting them up on their Facebook t- page with things like white trash and uh, dirty slut. And her personal just, pictures. Her taking personal, pe- personal pictures. pictures from the reviewers page. Right. Uh, pictures of her children. Pictures of her children. Pictures of her home. Like they went to her personal page and violated uh, probably some of the most basic civil rights laws out there which is leave my shit the fuck alone. It's not yours to use. Um, and then some other people who aren't even friends with this girl jump on the bandwagon and like, hey, this is and not even like being rude about it. They're like, hey, this is probably not the best way to react to a bad review. And and then the vitriol just starts pouring forth against anyone and everyone who has something to say that isn't this place is amazing. Um, one guy who doesn't even live here uh, posted a review saying I'm kind of appalled at the kind of customer service that's happening here. I've never visited there, but from what I see on what's happening on your public Facebook page, I would never recommend anyone to go there because obviously if a customer has a problem, it, it's not something for you to fix. It's something for you to blast them about on Facebook. Now, she, just to, to kind of share, if you saw the photos with her nails, um, they actually did look awful. They look I, pretty bad. I used to get my nails done years and years ago. And I don't. You do I sometimes. used to, but they're off right now. And so um, they were. They were absolutely horrible. Um, I would have been. No, to you. Oh. You're talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would have been uh, mortified. Yeah. They were bad. I probably wouldn't have left. But she, paid $115 she actually dollars and tip paid the and tip them. So it it kind of went on from there. But they were using her personal screenshots, um, as you were saying, with. Of course, they were public. Right. You know, they, uh, but, she was able to access those pictures because she had posted them publicly. Right. But then they posted her um, her home address and yeah. a picture of her house. And Which is kind of like a veiled threat, I think. Right. Yeah. Is this your house? So ultimately, then they tried to say after that they had been hacked. Um, however, there were right. videos posted on their Facebook with, they said, uh, that for four days we've been locked out but within those four days they posted current videos like live at the establishment so this completely reminded mm-hmm. me of the kitchen nightmare show with mm-hmm. gordon ramsay right. of amy's baking company I know exactly which one down in I love that uh, your your uh, weekend town phoenix. Uh, phoenix uh not phoenix but uh actually it was uh scottsdale, scottsdale. and uh where they went crazy and they pulled the same thing where our accounts were hacked um it was crazy. So it totally reminded me of it. Anyway, we want to call the nail salon to see if they will give us uh, a statement about what happened. And I'm pretty sure, uh, I believe Toxie uh, read that they were being interviewed by one of the local news channels. The Not, not the nail salon. The oh. individual that this happened to, okay. um, she was being interviewed by the by the news so in order for us to hear the call we have to have our headphones on we haven't had headphones on in almost a year i I know so uh so we're we're gonna do this they have posted pictures of just about anyone and everyone who has ever said hey this place kind of sucks uh and, and honestly i don't think even after visiting their website i wouldn't visit because a there isn't a single picture of a real patron on this website it is all very obviously a planned, staged photo shoot. And who's oh, yeah. talking? All I right. can't hear out of mine. Oh, you probably need your volume turned up. You do the talking. Okay. Can you hear it? No, I can't. Afternoon, no, Nalmash. Can I put you on hold? Sure. Thank you. We're on hold. So we're on hold. Well, at least they answered. We were very afraid that they would not yeah. answer. So because they um, close in like ten minutes, we only have five minutes left on the show. Right. Oh, I d- I'm not going to get to my psychic story. Oh, we got plenty of time next week. That's true. It's That's not like true. psychics are going to be any less bilky than this week than they were last week. Yeah, there's some scary psychics out there. See, you guys need to watch out for them. These people are real. Oh, I won't. No, we are a private entity that utilizes your space. You can say the name of your show.
Oh, oh hell we yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I want them. You can say whatever you want. I want them all up on my Facebook page. I did post it, so hopefully they weren't forewarned. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope they can hear us. Like, they just put it on. They didn't actually pause us. They put they it put on it mute. They put it on mute so we could talk about them. Can you tell if we're still on the... Oh, no, I guess it would... Tell, meow, 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 if they had hung up on us. Anyway, um, so... Uh, uh, we gave you the name of the company, right? Yes. Service. Nailed, Nailed and, and Lashed. lashed. Uh, so you know not to go there. Uh, go leave a review, even if you've never been there, just from <laughs> what you read on the page. Be uh, forewarned, though. They will stalk your page, take your pictures, post them up on Facebook, and say terrible things about you. Their main Facebook page has been taken down. Twice. And the only thing up is the one that Facebook creates for a business that people check into. Mm -hmm. So you just type in uh, nailed and lashed in the search bar and you can go see all of this conversation. Uh, Sierra spent uh, the better part of half an hour just reading through <laughs> the posts. If you're holding, how can I help you? Hi, uh, is the owner available, Andrea or Chris? No, no one, I, they're not here right now. I'm the only one here right now. Oh, Do you okay. want me to take a message? Yes, please. Yes, let me get a notepad. One moment, please. Okay, I've got my notepad. All right. Uh, my name is Sierra, and I'm with a radio show here in town, Sin City Bounty. Okay. And we actually just wanted to get a quote from them on the recent Facebook dust-up, because we want to see hear both sides of the story. Okay, um, perfect. So they can give me a call. Uh, shit, I don't want to put, uh, put this number out. Um, actually, they can email me. Yeah, that's perfect. What was your email? Sierra, S-I-E-R-R-A. Mm-hmm. S C B, S B B. No S as in Sam, C as in Charlie, B as in boy. Oh, get it, Sin City Bounty. I get right, it. Okay. Right. Uh, at gmail dot com. At uh, what was that? Gmail. Gmail. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'll let I'll let them know to go ahead and send that over. Okay. Awesome. Is there an email address I can send them an email to too, so we can establish contact? Um. Yeah. Let me give you the nailed in last one. It would be info i n f o. Uh huh. At nailedandlashedlv.com. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hmm. So I'm feel free to send them an email. <laughs> 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 I'm sure the uh, owners are probably not there because they probably have been getting harassed a lot. Even if they were there, they probably right. weren't answering. Right. Uh, I, I would assume so, yes. That was very nice of that. At least that girl who's answering the phone is doing a very I good job. Yeah. She did great. <gasps> it's already taken maybe I already have it <laughs> three minutes all right um, so let me tell you about my freaky story of the day I go to the restroom before I go to bed every night and I go to the restroom as soon as I wake up every morning I think that's normal for everybody right yeah when I went to bed last night uh, there was nothing on the floor in front of the bedroom door else I would have stepped on it kicked it or otherwise uh, felt its presence uh, when I went to bed. When I got up, there was this ring sitting on the floor right in front of the bathroom door. It is uh, a male's ring. It's got a skull wearing a hat on it. I do not recognize it at all where it came from. Freaky, freaky. Sierra said, you've got to bring it. You've got to bring it. I've got to touch it. I need to touch it. It's been making her screw up her words all day. Fucking me up all day long. Mostly because I think I should be talking like an ignorant pirate. <laughs> um, really quick, uh, Kelly Guy would like to know if he could get his girl to stand up and show off her pretty dress. There's no way to do that. I can stand up and I'll be shorter than I am sitting down. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. There just isn't any way to do that. Um, there. Oh, he can't Maybe, see it on Facebook. You know what? We will no, take we will take Facebook. some long shots after the show. Uh, we always take pictures. Uh, I forced Sierra into taking some selfies today, so we'll take some long shots of her in her pretty dress, and we'll post them up on Facebook later tonight or tomorrow. How was that, Cali guy? Yeah. Vendetta said she knew what show you were on, and you didn't mention the name. Did no, you I say where you were? She did. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. She even said it back. Oh, yeah, I get it. Sin City Bounty. Okay. SCB. God so. damn you, Google. And Fernie <laughs> said she's happy that the girl was very sweet that answered the phone. She was. I, I really, well, you know, they've learned, I, I'm, I'm assuming. 
That doesn't mean they've learned. <laughs> that means that she's a good receptionist. Right. Um, <laughs> doesn't mean the owners, you know. Well, maybe they said, we need the mm -hmm. nicest person we can to answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be like the first step in uh, fixing whatever wrongs have been had. But of course, if they're going, if they're sticking with the claim that their uh, social media accounts have been hacked or their Facebook has been hacked, because I checked out their Twitter, it's still, or the last post was July 2nd, the last I saw. So um, we're Sin City Bounty. Dot com. Go to our website. Galleries are up. Uh, all of our latest videos are up. You can go watch things there. You can subscribe so you never miss a post when they go up and are ready. Um, you can subscribe to our audio podcast so you can listen to those at any time without having to view, although we're very pretty, so I don't know why you wouldn't want, wouldn't want to watch the video. Um, I am Alexia. I'm Sierra. I'm Toxie. And we will see you guys next week. If you're brave enough. Later, bitches.